How to view and analyze logs with Windows Event Viewer. In Windows, logs that are saved contain information about applications and the operating system itself. Moreover, these logs are structured and human readable. For viewing the logs, Windows uses its Windows Event Viewer. This application displays the event logs and allows the user to search, filter, export, and analyze background info. Event Viewer is a standard component and can be accessed in several ways. The easiest way is to type Event Viewer to the Start menu. If you prefer using Command Prompt, you can access it by running the Event for command. You can also access by pressing Windows Logo plus X, then press V. Event Viewer is also accessible through the Control Panels. Open the Control Panels and list them all by viewing them like small or large icons. After that, select the Administrative Tools and find Event Viewer in the folder. The application is user-friendly and provides an intuitive interface. The main screen is divided into three column sections. Navigation page, detail page, and action page. The navigation page which is by default positioned on the very left provides you with an option to choose the event log to view. Five categories can be found under Windows Logs. Application logged by an application hosted locally. Security, logs related to logins, privileges, and other similar events. Setup. Logs created in the process of installing or changing the Windows installation. System, logs created by the operating system. Forwarded events, events forwarded by other computers. There is also a category for applications and services logs, which contains logs of the individual applications and hardware events. Logs from PowerShell and other command lines will also be stored there. When in the default tab, this page displays the overview and summary. Select some item from the previously mentioned navigation page to see more details. There are several log levels. Information, successful action. Warning, occurring of an event that might bring problems. Error, occurring of a significant problem. Critical, severe problem occurred. You can also see audit successes and failures which are associated with security events. Events are listed chronologically, starting with the latest event on the very top. You can furthermore click on the columns to edit the order and groupings. By clicking on the event, the preview pane here below shows more detailed information of the selected event. If it's not showing, you can open it by going to View tab, then check on the preview pane to show it. Or you can double click on the event to show the same on a pop-up window. Here you can see the name of the log, source, and other information about the log. The preview pane also has two tabs, General and Details. In Details, the first tab shows more information about the error as described above. The second tab shows the raw event data. The last page located by default on the right side is the Actions page, which provides you quick access to the features available to you at the moment. This page is divided into two parts, the first containing actions available for the selected navigation page. The second contains actions available to the selected event itself. Various options are available like Clearing log events. Here, you can choose this option if the list becomes too large. This will delete all events stored in the current log. You can check the total number of events by going to the top directory in the navigation page. Filtering current log. This allows you to set criteria for events to be displayed on the details page. Exporting log events. Here, you can click on the save all events as of the selected events into the special event file with the .evtx extension. Event viewer gives you the option to create a custom view. To do so, select the custom views folder on the navigation page and click create custom view on the actions page. You can for example create a custom view for all hardware events under applications and services logs with log level error that occurred in the last 24 hours. After saving, your new view will now show in the navigation tab. You can also export your custom view. Select it in the navigation page and find an option called export custom view on the actions page. Enter the name for the new .xml file you are about to create, and it is done. The summary view is the first thing you will come in contact with when opening the event viewer. It is at the top of the navigation panel. It includes overview. Summary of administrative events which displays data and totals related to the event viewer for the past week. Recently viewed nodes which displays history of the viewed nodes filtered chronologically while the most recent is at the top. You can double click on the node to open the location. Log summary, this section displays all of the major properties in each log file. This covers how to view and analyze logs with Windows event viewer. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.